In the beginning, I did not know where I was going to start. As a young woman, I was left the responsibility of a single parent of four children, and I need to find something that would allow me to have the flexibility to be able to raise my children, but also be successful in a business. I really needed to fall back on uh, the family business that my parents had as a child, the oldest of five children working in the family business, and drawing upon the experiences that I had in a young life in order to allow me to be successful and be where I am today. Pat is my grandmother, so I knew her that way first. Uh, and she's always kind of a, an inspiration, a role model to me. She was always there as a family member, as someone to, to be there if you need to talk, and, and someone who always made time for you. I got to know Pat uh, not long after coming to Windsor. I met her at some events, and then she subsequently joined the Board of Governors at the University of Windsor. And Pat has, of course, as we all know, a big interest in, in money, but also how money is being used responsibly and how we can best steward money. And of course, as in the investment committee of the Board of Governors of the University of Windsor, stewarding our investments is something that's very important to all of us, and Pat's contributed hugely to that. I get notes all the time and letters and calls and thanking me for where I made a difference. And sometimes I really have to think of, what are they talking about? Where did I make a difference? The number of times that I've walked into a room and, and someone have said, oh my gosh, Pat, or oh my gosh, your grandmother, she's just so wonderful, she helped me do this, or she inspired me to do that. And so I see her out in the community and I see her here in the office. And the, the one thing, she'll always put helping others before business. She'll always put her family before business, but she still manages to be successful. And so she's really inspired me because she's shown me that you can do both. I've seen her as a role model for women, and I've also seen how somehow she, she marries her commitment to family with her commitment to creating opportunities for women. I always thought of, I was just a person out there doing my job, enjoying what I'm doing. But as I look back over the years, it was tough being a woman in, the man, in a man's business. And I was told that I was going to starve, and I was told that my children were going to starve. You know, and as I worked along the way, none of that happened, and ended up carving out a pretty good living for our family. They are the reason that I'm here today. They are intelligent, wonderful children, grandchildren, and now great-grandchildren. And I draw upon their strength in order to proceed in where I'm going. In my eyes, she won this award a long time ago because she's always been there inspiring other women. She's always been not just inspiring other women, but helping. She gives her time to charities. She gives her time to so many people who need her. I have a thing that I say to my children and to other people, that at any given time in life, you are always the sum of the books you read, the people you meet and experiences to date. And you will always be the average of your best five friends. So that could be business acquaintances. And you always want to be in the center because you want to be learning from the top and teaching to the bottom.